What's my favourite submission? Um, Tirico Plata, probably. I love a Tirico Plata. Um, and I was listening to a podcast of how actually, how dangerous jiu-jitsu is. It's like you're trying to choke each other out. Like people are like, what do, you, what do you do for fun? I'm like, I try to choke people out and um, I try to break their limbs. And then we high five and it's a lot of fun. And people are like, what is wrong with you? That's kind of cool. What is wrong with you? And I'm like, what's wrong with you that you don't do this? But uh, let me know where you guys train and uh, what your belt rank is. I'm liking the emojis. So if you've got an emoji that describes your, your jiu-jitsu and then uh, your belt rank, do that because that's really funny. The main thing you want is when you're in a hamstring stretch is if you're stretching just like normal jamming, you don't want to be like pulling on it and like shaking. Do you know what I mean? Just like get to that stretch, find that, find that point and then just, just start like relaxing in the stretch. The last thing you want is to be yanking your foot up or like laying on your back and like doing this. You don't want to be like pulling on it because then you get resistance and then you get that like tremble, which you'll probably get after working a bit anyway. But just try and just relax into it. I find I get more out of my hamstrings that way than if I like force the stretch. Clown blue. <laughs> so uh, yeah, clown blue. Nice one, Gary. Um, that's from Carvey13. Let me see. For hip and groin soreness, you know what? One of the best ones, timeless. I call them timeless, is grab your jiu-jitsu belt. And for the inside, of the inside of the groin, there's always a ton of things you can do. But honestly, my favorite is grabbing that jiu-jitsu belt. Oh, yeah, I'll go this way. And straight or almost straight, whatever you can do and bringing it down, boom, to the outside. So that's a really, really nice stretch through that groin, it's super nice. We'll, uh, we'll stretch our, sorry, I'm looking at the emojis, getting me distracted. But a lot of people think you have to have straight legs in down dog as well. Like, it's not about that, it's about having a straight back. Um, and you know, you could, you could straighten your legs and end up like this. In, in a really uncomfortable position, or if you bend your legs and find a straight back, that's gonna feel even better. So, so really kind of play with, play with the position and, and see what works for you, but find some comfort there. Those flags are sick. Good work, you guys. Another flag from the UK. Good work. I wanna put my flag up, but I see that Brazilian and Dublidge, I totally said that wrong, but it's a Canadian flag for me, so we're good. Keep saying the flags are super cool. Any tips on working into full lotus? Just a general question. Don't really know if that's the type you're looking for. Yeah, perfect, thanks. Uh, light a Kendall. <laughs> nice. Um, so if you start off sitting cross-legged, if you're all right here, cross-legged, I'll, I'll assume you, you're like cool here. I'd say that's the first goal. If you're tight, getting cross-legged, just, just work on getting there to begin with. And un kind of cross your legs and bring one out. Um, and then bring whichever one that's come out, bring the foot of that on top of the opposite knee. And then from here, you might start off here, but I like to just start feeling that kind of outer part of your hip or wherever's tight here, just slowly start to relax. Like when you start off, you'll probably be up here, but the more and more comfortable you get when you're in here, the more and more your hip releases, your knee will eventually start going down towards your foot. Gorilla white, nice. Okay, good, good. I uh, definitely don't want to roll with you then. <laughs> yeah, if you've got that gorilla strength, I don't want that. Also, you know, you think lotus on the back, yeah, it's like, like here, whereas you think like you've got like rubber guard, that's a similar stretch. Longest stamina pull, uh, nice. So just working your breath when you're practicing really. Um, obviously yoga, you're gonna get out of breath, you're gonna get tired. Um, the more you, you focus on your breathing, you inhale deep, exhale deep, you pause at the top, pause at the bottom, they're all gonna help, um, gonna help you on the mats and, and eventually you'll be, you'll be rolling and breathing through your nose. You know. um, speaking of breath work, we've just got uh, Alessandro join, he's a breath work pro. Um, but yeah, th we've got breath work programs on the app. Uh, Arthur Paulins, he's um, another um, breath work, uh, qualified, um, I think he's Wim Hof qualified, uh, and he's, he's done us a program, Sebastian did a program. I definitely recommend you guys check them out. I like the poo emojis, Derek. 
uh, does the yoga help with the defensive side of BJJ? Yeah, yeah. Um, again, what I was saying, you know, if you increase your mobility, you increase your options. If you increase your options, um, you increase like the amount of techniques available. If you can only go a certain way uh, because you're tight and, and inflexible, then you, you shut down a lot of your uh, jiu-jitsu game. So the more flexible you are, the more possibilities you've got as well. Think of how we're sitting. We sit quite often with the knees forward in the car, in the desk, in the couch, in the, in the couch, if it's really comfortable couch, on the couch. So they don't get a lot, of, a lot of movement outside of the hips. So hip flexors are tight and outside of the hips are tight. So that's really common. And then because of all of our sitting again, we are in, it's called flexion bending. So those poor little hamstrings. So tight hips, like head over to Yoga for Ox Hip Week. That's honestly, and then the 10 and 10 program. That's honestly the, the ones that are, are visited the most. Dropping the foot over. Boom. So these are all the types of things that we do in our in our live streams. We've got a bunch of new live classes for you guys every week, new stuff. And and I know I do this. I'm pretty sure Adam does too, because he's awesome and Seb, like we just pick all of our favorite stuff and put it together. Uh, sorry, chess jitsu. Cheese jitsu is a pretty cool name as well though. The Viking William joined. Hello the Viking William. Give me a emoji that describes your jiu-jitsu and your belt rank. That's always good fun. You're in luck. So head over again to our, to our website, yogaforbjj.net, and jump into the rehab section. And there is a section on there for ribs. And Rosie, like that's helped a ton of people out. Try it out, see if it helps, go really light. Obviously, we're not, we're not doctors. I spent my 10 years getting my jiu-jitsu black belt, um, not my not my doctor degree. I personally think that jiu-jitsu is a lot, a lot, a little bit more fun. I'm not saving lives, but I'm saving mental lives, I guess. So head over there to yogaforbj.net and check out our rib injuries section. What I'll do is I'll do a bit of a flow and then uh, on Saturday, Sarah's gonna do like a cool down stretch. So Sarah's class usually counters mine really well and then mine kind of counters hers as well. So um, depending on which one you pick up, if you pick up Sarah's one first, there's like the cool down, at the end of the day, uh, flow, you could use mine in the morning or uh, vice versa. Wicked. Cheers, guys. I hope everyone's good. And uh, if you guys are locked down, obviously stay active and um, check in on people if they're on their own. And we'll be back soon. Take care. Thanks, guys. Hey, guys. Sorry for the long hair. I haven't had time to cut it. Just a quick update. Me and Stina are recording the last part of the level two training. And I really look forward to you taking these classes this winter. See you guys on the in the videos soon. All right, team. So it was really, really fun hanging out with you. And we'll see everybody next time.